Hello guys, this is DK Uncovered. So in today's video, what I want to share with you is how to form an abundance mindset. I've realized that it is very easy to get into a scarcity mentality, especially when you're working on your purpose and you're not getting set certain type of results. You keep trying, you keep pushing yourself, but the result that you want is not coming. When you've been attracting a certain type of women into your life in the past and even now, you treat them the best. You, you try your best to make them happy, but they, all they do is just treat you like shit. Not even just women. Friends as well, right? You're facing a lot of financial difficulties at this moment or whatever you're going through at this moment is not what you want. It is very easy to get into that scarcity mentality and always be expecting the worst. Even when you haven't started something, you always expect to fail. You always expect something negative. Because you've been going through that so much that you've been conditioned to think that way. You've been conditioned to expect that way, bruv. Now, before I continue, I want to always say this, though. You become what you think about. A man's life is what he thinks about all day long, bruv. Your life is what you think about all day long. So whatever you're going through right now is something that you thought about in the past. A few years ago, even 10 years ago, it's probably something that you thought about. Your most dominant thought maybe 10 years ago. And as soon as you start thinking about something over and over again, right? as soon as your emotions get into it, that will impress your subconscious mind straight away. And then it will manifest. It might not come right now, but it will come later. You know what I mean? Everything has, for, for the same, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction in it. Everything that you do or say will have some, what do you call it, will, will, will cause some effect. You know what I mean? So right now, before I continue, I want you to go through your life right now or at this moment. What are you thinking about? Is it something that's going to help you become the person that you want to be in 10 years time, in 30 years time? Are you going to, are you thinking about uh, attracting only positive things into your life or negative things into your lives? Are you constantly frustrated? Because once you, like I said, because we think about, because we become what we think about. So if you're at this moment, all you're doing is focusing or dwelling on what you're going through right now, then you're going to be that person. You're going to cause, it's going to be like a chain reaction of the same situation. You know what I mean? So the best way to do this, right, is always before you start something, before you start something, expect the good. Bef even when you get rejected, even when you're not expecting a certain type of results that you want, Still focus on the fact that you can attract more. You know what I mean? A few years ago, I realized something, right? Some girl rejected me, right? This girl was very, very nice. Now, to be honest, yeah, in a way, it was my fault, right? Because I was very, very needy. See, that's scarcity mindset. I was very needy to the point that she just lost interest in it. Now, I had this friend that was to, told me this day. He was like, look around you, bruv. Look around you. No, and he was like, you see how everything is, for, for some reason, this guy too was very philosophical, bro. He was like, you see everything that you want, yeah, every, everything in this world, yeah, trees, even women, there's abundance of them there, bro, money as well. There's tons of them out there, right? So why is it that you're going to allow just one thing, one mistake, one error affect you? It's the same thing as your purpose. You see, in life, we need to fail a couple of times. We need to try at times, a few times before we get what we want. You know what I mean? If you're working on your purpose, you have to put out more quality and quantity of service, right? And that quantity and, and, and your success will be in direct proportion of the amount of effort you put in. So right this moment, just because you're not getting the results, shouldn't even discourage you just keep going just keep going whatever you put out there i think this this should be something that always should that should remind you that whatever you put out there whether it's good or bad they say they say there's a law of karma right now this law of karma doesn't just only only work in a negative way it works in a positive way so you could put it that way because whatever you put out out there you will get it back everything has a cause and effect Law of compensation, I think Emerson said that. For everything that you've, you've lost, you've gained something. And for everything that you've gained, you've lost something. So the things that you've lost, if you think deeply, the things that you lost in the past, or your life circumstances, the things that you went through in the past, if you sit down at this moment and you get a, a book, 
right? And, and think about it, yeah. You realize that you gained a lot of things that are even that have served you or has even taken you places or has even benefited you more than the things that the thing that you lost. You would you probably not be where you were if you are right now if you didn't lose whatever you lost in the past. That's just how things in this universe work. You know what I mean? Even the cell of your body, have you realized that? The, the new replaces the old, didn't it? The strong cells always takes out, it takes the, the weaker ones. It's the same thing as energy, animals, right? In an animal force, you realize that the strong always preys on the weak. That's just how they, they do to survive. You know what I mean? So, like, just don't look at your situations right now because the fact that you look at it will definitely make you attract that way, make you better. I've been there before. You constantly attract that and then that's how people get into stress and then stress leads to or frustration and then it leads to stress. Their stress leads to, um, what do you call it, depression. Because the thing is that it's all about being disciplined as well. See, self-discipline comes from here first. So you need to be disciplined that, listen, you're going through hard times right now. I am going through hard times right now. And I'm still going to focus on the fact that I can do more. You have deep reservoirs of talent and abilities, bro, that... You can use, bro. You can use to attract great things into your lives. It's just all in the way you look at what you do. It's all in the way you look at yourself. I made a video about why it's important to think big. Why you should be ambitious, right? See, being ambitious and being thinking big, it still comes down to having an abundance mindset. Because people that think big, people that are ambitious... They don't look at whatever they, they fail at this moment. They don't look at whatever they're going through. They just shrug it off and move on. And that's how you realize that the successful people have the best attitude towards life. It's our attitude towards life which determines life's attitude towards us. So if you, if you always make life um, depressing for you, then life will give you that. Condition yourself to always expect the good. Now, for 30 days, one thing that I want you to do for 30 days, right, is that write down what you want. 30 days, write down the things that you want. It would, it would take hard work and it would take dedication, bro. But trust me, it can be beneficial. 30 days, so right now, okay, at this moment, write down the thing that you desire the most. We all fear something and we all want something in life. Write down the things that you want. And after that, right, Completely stops for 30 days. Just don't think about the things that you feel or the things that you've lost. Don't think about that. Now your mind will try to play or put uh, give you this mindset again, right? Show you all these images of the things that you've lost or the things that you feel. As soon as that comes, don't panic. Don't try to fight it. Just go back to just pick up the piece of paper of your, the things that the thing that you desire the most. Pick that up. And just look at the thing that you desire and see yourself accomplishing it or becoming the person that you want to be. So 30 days, don't think about anything that you fear or the things that you've lost. If you find yourself over, 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 over thinking about these negative things, you have to start it over again. That, that 30 days again, bro. You know what I mean? You have to start it again. Do it till you've, you've been able to... Um, Focus on just positive things and the things that you want for 30 days. And even even and if you want to try it over 30 days again, keep doing it. But the sole purpose of this is to develop an abundance mindset of always expecting the best. So write down your goals, bruv, on a piece of paper or something like, let's say a piece of paper like that. And just carry it around. So if you want to be whatever you want to be, write it down. If you want to attract certain type of money into your life, write it down. Even if you want to write a date down, write that date, the day that you want to get that. And even on your wall, before you wake up in the morning, right? You could, you could, you could, you could, this is, this, this, there's something that I saw in a book, right? It's like your daily mantra, in it? You could even say something about like, let's say, if your name, your name is James Dean, right? Say James Dean, make James Dean um, a wealthy, successful, or prosperous person. You th think big, something, you know what I mean? Say something like, you, um, Talk only progress, talk only prosperity, talk only prosper uh, what, happiness, right? James Dean, you are a big thinker, so think big. 
James Dean, you're going places in life. You were a great fellow yesterday, so and you're going to be an even greater fellow today. You know, say something like that. That will keep you worked up. That will keep you pumped up. I'll show you an example in my next video, and I'll read it out loud for you. You know, I mean, how to write those things. But my so my, what I want you to do now is that 30 days, write down what you go, what, what your goal, the thing that you desire the most, right? And for 30 days, just focus on that. Don't think about the things that you fear, the things that you've lost, or your life circumstances right now, the negative things. Just focus on your goal, bro, and work towards it. And once the 30 days has ended, continue, bro. Repeat it again. I've done this the same before. Repeat it again and again till you find yourself gradually working, you know, getting closer to your goal and just becoming a happy person and just develop this, developing this abundance mindset. You know what I mean? But anyway, I want to keep it just 10 minutes. I like to keep my videos very, very short, yeah? But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just keep going, bro. Like, I'm telling you. You know what I mean? Have a wonderful day, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification button. I post mostly every day now. So I need your support, guys. Take care and have a wonderful day.